welcome to the daily office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is night prayer for Sunday, August the 10th. It's the ninth Sunday after Pentecost and week six in the psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 67, 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 21 to 31, and Ecclesiasticus chapter 36, verse 1 through 7. Please join me in singing the third verse of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts to the tune of Old 100. Enter God's gates with songs of joy, with praises to God's courts repair, and make it your divine employ to pay your thanks and honors there. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Together, O oh, merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault in our thoughts and words and deeds and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults and cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, be merciful to us and bless us, and shine the light of your face upon us. Alleluia, Psalm 67. Please recite it together with me. Alleluia, be merciful to us and bless us, and shine the light of your face upon us, that your way may be known upon the earth, and your saving help among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you shall judge the people righteously and govern the nations upon the earth. Let the people praise you, O God, let all the people praise you. Then shall the earth yield her increase, and you, our God, shall bless us. You shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear you. Glory to you, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, be merciful to us and bless us. Shine the light of your face upon us. Alleluia. A reading from Paul's second letter to the Corinthians, chapter 11, beginning at verse 21. But whatever anyone dares to boast of, I'm speaking as a fool. I also dare to boast of that. Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they descendants of Abraham? So am I. Are they the ministers of Christ? And now I'm talking like a bad man. I am a better one, with far greater labors, far more imprisonments, with countless floggings, and often near death. Five times I have received from the Jews the forty lashes minus one. Three times I was beaten with rods, once I received a stoning, three times I was shipwrecked, for a night and a day I was adrift at sea, on frequent journeys in danger from rivers, bandits, danger from my own people, danger from Gentiles, danger in the city, danger in the wilderness, danger at sea, danger from false brothers and sisters, in toil and hardship. Though many a sleepless night, hungry and thirsty, often without food, cold and naked. 
And besides other things, I am under daily pressure because of my anxiety for all the churches. Who is weak? And am I not weak? Who is made to stumble? And am I not indignant? So if I must boast, I will boast of the things that show my weakness. The God and Father of the Lord Jesus, blessed be he forever, knows that I do not lie. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, hide us under the shadow of your wings. Together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us say the canticle together. Alleluia, have mercy upon us, O God of all, and look at us. Strike fear into all the nations that do not seek you. Lift your hand against the corrupt, and let them see your power. As they saw your holiness displayed in us, so let us see your strength displayed among them. And let them know, as we have known, that there is no other God but only you. Show us new signs and miracles. Glorify your mighty hand and your right arm, that they may demonstrate your wondrous works. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.